Yeah, they are. And there it is. Lake Thistle. We're sitting on top of a mountain. I've been hiking for two hours. Get up here. Beat to heck, man. We made it. That's how long that dam is. Yeah, it is. A lot of fetching dirt that went down that dam. We hiked up along the railroad for a little ways and couldn't get across the river, so we had to sneak across the highway and hike up onto the East Mountains. And that's where we're at now. We've been hiking up across these East Mountains. Had to go find a bridge across the Diamond Fork River. And we've been hiking up along the power lines. We just poked over the top and see this here reservoir. There's the diversion tunnel that they built around it. You can see the white flow of water as it comes out of it. And uh, this will right up through that canyon. You can get an idea right in the middle of the picture there where the mountain slid down, where it's bare. You can see the disturbed ground. I guess it slid for several miles back. You can see it all the way up the canyon where the mud slid down. Slid down and the mountain that it met on the east side was solid rock so it couldn't move and so it just piled up there. How high is it now, Dale? That dam. Dam's about 200 feet. I think the lake's about 170, isn't it? And it's growing at four feet an hour, or four feet a day. Is that what they said? Yeah, but it's not. I guess this is the way that we should have been up to going up there. It looks like a lot easier way of getting there, I'll tell you. We're planning on hiking down the road, I guess, from here. See how close we can get, maybe go down across the road. Anyway, on the way back down, we're going to just walk down the highway and hope somebody throws us out and gives us a... To get an idea how far we've come, you can see that green field down there. The car's parked down below that. We hiked down the highway a ways, and then we crossed the highway and came up on that hillside just above the road. We crossed over the road there, and then we followed the power line up over most of these hills right here. You can see the power line coming up there. And we crossed Diamond Fork Reservoir, her river, down there by on at the ranch. Hiked up over this hill following the power lines. And then we hiked up this big steep hill here. You can see the power line right up there on top we came along. And then we came all the way off across this valley here and then back over to where we're at now. I'd say, how far would you say we've hiked, Dale? Five miles? This is Spanish Fork Canyon right through here, and you can see the slide going up that canyon right there. You can kind of see where there's a cliff where at the end of the slide is it dropped off. They've got workers. They've got workers going for several miles up and down these canyons. Looks like on both sides of the lake. You can't harden, you can't see the lake from where we're at right here, but you can see where they've been working on the slide.
cutting the dam away right down inside here we've got this big hill in front of us if we climbed up it we could get up on top and see the whole lake and up and down all the canyons but we've had enough hike and it's taken us about four hours to get where we're at right now we're due home in two more hours so we're gonna have to hurry and hitchhike down or hike it down to the road and try to hitchhike or ride home right here we're just walking over the hill and you can get an idea what the lake looks like we were really surprised to see how large it was we didn't think it would be this big yeah part of the lake you can see back over here goes up Thistle Canyon and this is their Fairview Canyon you can see the road the highway just barely as it comes out of the end of the lake going down toward Fairview and Ephraim and then you've got another large section of the lake as it comes back up toward Soldier Summit and we can't see exactly how far the lake does go but it goes a long way up these canyons. You can see right down here above the tree. I'll move over here a little bit so you can we can see better. You can see some rooftops there in the water. An old ranch. And you can see far off in the distance there, more rooftops and tops sticking out of the lake. Well, we're going to hike it down to the lake on this other side. Maybe get another picture before we try to catch somebody for a ride down. And this is good old Dale Robinson. We've been hiking this trail a long way together. We've been working together beside that about two and a half years now, hasn't it, Ben Dale? Yep. This is Kay, standing in front of the lake. I sure like to jump in that lake, but I ain't about to hike down that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the last leg of our hike. We're almost down to the road. This is the railroad tunnel that they're building through. How long is it, Dale? It's supposed to be 3,000 and something feet. 3,000 feet and they're spending what about three million dollars on it? Something like that. They're gonna run the new railroad through there. Here's the overflow. It comes out this end of the dam. Runs down here and you can see the uh, water coming out of the pipe where they pumped it before the water got up to the overflow there. Thought they might could pump it out as fast as they needed to but it was still rising on them, so they put the overflow in. And they're working on hauling dirt away right down here. They've got that dam pretty good size. You can get an idea of the size of it. So I back off here and just slide up in the background. And you got all the construction company outfits down here and all the way down. Right down here there's a gas station. It was right along the highway. We're headed down.